Hey there, welcome to our kitchen. I'm Jenny and this is Casey and we're two of Festival's Mealtime Mentors. Today we are baking up an, a an appetizer that's perfect for any holiday gathering. Yes, we are. We're making bacon and cheddar pinwheels. This which, is so good. They're <laughs> so good and they're kind of fun to make too. Yeah. Very fun. Yes. And delicious flavors. Sure mm -hmm. to please pretty much anybody. For sure. So uh, what we have in the pan already is our bacon. So you just dice it up and it's been cooking until it's nice and crispy. So I'm going to go ahead and drain that now um, and put it on this Viva paper towel lined plate. I'm going to leave a little bit of that bacon grease in here because I'm going to cook the onions in it. I love that. It's so a great much way flavor. to use that, yes, and get great flavor in that. So just some finely diced onions. And this will take about five minutes to cook. We just want them to be nice and soft and translucent. So while Jenny's working on that then, I'm going to get started with our filling. So we have some um, softened kind of room temperature cream cheese. I'm going to add some mayonnaise to that and just kind of mix that together until those two are well combined. And we talk a lot about getting kids involved in the kitchen. This is a really great oh, step yeah. for them to help with because it's super simple. You can't really mess it up. You're just mixing things in a large bowl. Right, <laughs> yes. It's foolproof. So to this mixture then, I'm going to add some shredded cheddar cheese. For this, we actually took a block of cheddar and shredded it. Um, that cheese melts just a little bit better when you do that. You could certainly use pre-shredded uh, cheese, but it just might not kind of melt and get all ooey gooey as much. I'm going to add also an egg. Some chives, love that with the bacon and the cheddar, yes. and salt and pepper. And then the onions are going to go in there as well, but they just need a little more time. And I'm actually going to add oh, the yeah, bacon as bacon. well. Can't, Can't forget, forget that. No, <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> all right, so I will get this all mixed together, and then we'll wait for those onions to cook. Okay, so these onions look nice and soft and translucent, so I'm going to go ahead and turn off the burner here and then get them into our filling bowl. Yes, those smell amazing. I love onions. What a great flavor to add to this filling as well. So I'll just stir this together, get those onions nice and incorporated throughout that filling. It looks so good. And once that's done, we're going to go ahead and assemble our pinwheels. So we just have some puff pastry. You can find this in the freezer section. You just need to make sure you thaw it overnight. So that's what we've done here. And we just laid it out on our work surface. And I'm going to go ahead and spoon about half this filling because this will use up two sheets of puff pastry. Mm -hmm. Spoon about half of this on here and just spread it out. I love those flavors of bacon, chive, onion, cheddar together. It's kind of like a like a baked potato, a really good yes. baked potato. Loaded baked potato. Yes, but in pinwheel form. Yeah, but if you don't like these flavors, you can feel free to switch it up. Yeah, you could definitely do like a, like mozzarella with spinach to do kind of like a spinach dip roll. Yum. That would be really good. We should oh, make fun. that. fun, yeah. <laughs> All right, so I've spread it out, and I left about an inch at the top of this puff pastry sheet empty so I can put my egg wash on it, and that's going to be the seal of this log when I roll it all yes. up. Yes, help that stay together. Yeah. All right, so then starting at the edge closest to me, I'm just going to lift this up and start rolling it. And as you can see, we already have um, our plastic wrap rolled out underneath. You don't need to do that, but it just kind of makes it easier then um, for our next step, so you don't have to be moving that, those pinwheels around too much. Um, yeah, at this point, they're pretty soft and kind of floppy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a little unruly. Right. So I'm just going to pinch it, and then I'm going to roll it so that it seams side down, and then wrap it up nice and tight in the plastic wrap. Nice. Hand it off to Casey. Nice. <laughs> so that's going to go into the fridge for 30 minutes. Uh, you want to chill them seam side down. And we have one that has already been chilling. So now we can cut them. Yes. Thank you. The main event. All right. It kind of looks like a burrito. <laughs> it does. <laughs> a long burrito. But it's not. Probably wouldn't be too good raw. No, I don't think so. All right. So we have our refrigerated and chilled pinwheel. I'm going to go ahead and move our baking sheet. Mm -hmm. And these are something that you can make all the way through beforehand. Um, 
You can go as far as to bake them even and store them in a covered container separated by wax paper so that you don't have to be doing all of this the day of your event. Yes. Um, and then when you're ready to serve them, you can stick them in the oven just for like six to eight minutes just to kind of get them nice and warm and crispy again. That puff pastry will puff even a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, or serve them at room temperature. They're still oh, good. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yes. Either way. Anything to make the holidays a little less stressful right. and reduce the amount of work <laughs> you have to do on the day of. All right. So now that these are cut, we're going to just go ahead and place them seam or cut side down mm -hmm. onto our baking sheet. And you can see that they got a little squished when I was cutting it. So you can always just rearrange a little bit with your fingers and fluff them back up. Yes. <laughs> But this does make quite a few pinwheels, which is great for a party. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, I'll Perfect. take them back to the oven. Yeah. So they will bake at 400 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes until they're golden brown and puffy. Just like these. Just like these. <laughs> so we have some that are already done. Oh my gosh. They yeah, smell really see. good. I need to dig right in. I don't know about you. I'm going to grab a napkin because I know that they're kind of flaky and messy. It's a good idea. I'm just going to risk it. Mmm. <laughs> Yum. I love how crispy they get. Yes. I love puff pastry. Mm -hmm. It's one of my like, favorite treats. Yes. So. <laughs> These are so great. So good. <laughs> Well, we hope you give this really good appetizer a try. And to get this recipe on your phone, text PINWHEEL to 78402. And for more holiday recipe ideas, visit bestfoods.com seasons.